I was recognized by the other older cats in the hood. And both my older brothers played ball. And we was known for being excellent in basketball. But then you had to defend yourself in these ghetto parks. And we was known as the Watkins boys, and we defended ourselves also. What the dude did was... He wants to be seen as a tough guy. People being afraid of him is something that is desirable to him. Be the guy with a brick. We was fighting over one of my sweethearts. He liked it, I liked it, so it came over to blows. We were fighting a fair fight at first, just with our hands. But then we rolled into the grass, and my hand hit a brick, and I picked up the brick, and I beat him in the head. And I repeatedly hit him in the head with the brick. He was lucky that day. I stopped. He went to the hospital in a coma. When you beating somebody and their strength gives up, then it's either you go on or you stop. So I decided to stop back then. Most of us, when confronted with a violent situation, are reluctant to allow ourselves to ratchet it up that fast. It's certainly something that's defective. The impulse wins out initially, uh, but the control, you know, part of his personality comes back in later to stop him and say, hey, we've done the job, we've gone as far as we need to, we can stop now. That need to be in control actually took over before he ended that other person's life. You can feel the high. The high of it is just like the same as shooting a gun or driving a car at a hundred and some miles an hour. 